got um, we have got our final team. Let's just check. This looks pretty even to me. Uh, we have uh, Bad Milk and Nasili on one team, and Nostalgia and Needla on the other. So I think that seems to balance it out. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that. Oh, do we, um, oh, there's only jungle and only jungle, only jungle who's been very consistent. I, I would say he knows how to jungle. That is for sure. Nisli, not Nisili. Nis. Nisli. Lee. I'm just reading is that it? name. He's 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 very furious at me right now because I keep pronouncing it Nisili. Um, it, but there's a Y. I know there's why a Y there. Be, why wouldn't that be Nisili? Nis. Lee. I'm gonna say Nasili again. Screw it. F the police. Yeah, it well, sounds I, like okay. It sounds like like it's it's like if you're dyslexic and you look at the name Lee Sin, Nasili. Yeah. It's like I don't know. It's strange. Well, um, I, I don't even know how to pronounce that. Is that a slinger? A slinger? Uh, yeah, freaking I don't know. That's Norse ish name. names. Yeah. Right. And I used to That's play a... TF2 with a guy named Silici. So N Nasili is like also very similar to that. Um. I don't know. Nisli, very easy to very easy to remember. Nisli. All right, Nisli, ba Bad Milk, Alfie is. I'm just gonna call him Alfie. Alfie, Catherine, Shreve versus Nostalgia, Darkly, um, Megs, um, Solanophile, Jung, um, Only Jungle, and Needla. Yeah. And Should be good. Don't forget uh, Nisili on the uh, team one. <laughs> uh, <n> Nisli. <laughs> no, it's Nisli. <laughs> It's Nasili. It's Nasili. Why would you just call him a slinger? Yeah, I'll just call him I N. Maybe, maybe he needs to change. Um, everyone wants is adding me now. It's cool. I have so many friends. Yay! I'll never be lonely on the internet again. Man, is this, every time, is this every step time one you start a new a new recording, it it like. The link that is in your browser is the link that oh. is uh, the local recording, like on your desktop. Um, so, anyway, uh, an Alistair ban co coming right out, banning out one of Jungle's jungles. Maybe not one of his only junglers, but oh, so funny. Yeah, um, people were just really afraid of only jungles. Uh, Alistair, I mean, it, it definitely dominated that game two games ago. So. I am not at all surprised to see that band. Yeah, um, Shen band. Maybe the start of the SH bands. You know, we haven't been seeing a lot of Shaco bands. Shen, Shaco. I want to see some dang Shaco play. I, well, <sighs> I don't know. Maybe you should talk to Jungle about that. You know, it's 345 in Korea right now. There should be plenty of Korean Redditors in this Reddit chat getting <laughs> ready for these Reddit in house fives. The demon gesture awaits, dude. Seriously. Uh. I have a friend, it's too bad he's East Coast, otherwise I'd bring him in on these, because he plays a mean Shaco. Those ganks are just so deadly. It, it really is super scary, and he has his own like methodology about it. I don't know how, exactly how he works it, but he gets the first two kills almost every game. Um, we got another Kale ban. Nobody wants to see Nostalgia play in that character. Just... Which is sad, you know? You want to see people <laughs> able to play what they're good at, so. And then, a Lee Sin ban, just banning out good top lanes, banning out decent junglers. And, oh, a Shaco ban. No! Shreve! God, what a jerk, man. Come on, just... Shreve is so... Oh, man, Shaco is just such a joy to watch. Because, uh, as a who... caster... When he goes invisible and jumps over a wall, you see where he goes, and you get to watch the reactions of just this bewilderment that just washes over the other. Shago deceive. I know exactly right. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, there are a ton of a ton of champs in this game who really reward like some so, something other than most other. Like a lot of champs, uh, you know, for bruisers, you think about. Your gap closer, your CC. It's like it's this standard stuff. With a lot of ADs, you think about like a steroid or you know blah blah blah. AP carries, you think about a skill shot. Shaco is one of those chances where you really have to think ahead to play him to his fullest potential. And I cannot wait to see some Shaco play. People who you know think ahead, put down the boxes, lead him into the boxes, deceive backwards, send in the clone, 
it's like just all this crazy stuff you can do with a shaker that makes him such a joy to watch. Um, and something I missed a lot was Reg- Reginald used to play quite possibly the best Shaco I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. He would he was always a step or two ahead in the old jungle of just anybody, and he he just knew when to be exactly yeah. where he was. Yeah. And it it was something else to just see him. And again, there he's been Shaco has been through a lot of different things since then. So well, but, I think Shaco was actually one of the first. Uh, 3.1k champs I bought and I just didn't yeah. understand like I bought him before I was even level 30 and I actually oh, wow. sent an email to Riot Support asking to have it refunded because I just couldn't wrap my head around how to play him I was always <laughs> dying it was terrible and then like I don't know even it took a long time for me to start playing Shaco in ranked uh, after that because I was I just boycotted him and I think it was I was watching Saint Vicious's stream he started like boots two health pots and a mana pot or something in the old jungle. Weird. He cleared his jungle and did this amazing... And I was like, i got to pick this guy up. And I mean, he is just a blast to play. So anyway, we do see Fizz, Leona, Ezreal, and uh, Twitch. It could be Twitch. It could be someone else coming out with Purple Team. Uh, I think Ezreal is also... Jungle trolling with the um, boost revive. Surge revive. Uh, Excellent I mean, choice. Oh yeah, Surge. Surge. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, I hope he's trolling. We thought he was trolling with revive last game, but then he did the. And then he what, did. Troll. Then he then he gave Uder his blue buff out of charity. That's what we saw. Mm-hmm. It was the charity blue. Charity blue. Um, I mean, it made him fast-ish for a little while. I don't know. Um, I wonder if that Warwick is going to be a top lane or jungle, because that that Warwick coming out of that jungle level six is pretty much a kill. Like, there, there's a lot of things you can counterplay with other junglers. When I mean, it, that it, does, it looks side. like Shreve might be going for AP Janna, um, either that or AP Soraka, and I don't think any of those champs really have the kill potential that uh, Warwick Jungle wants. Warwick Jungle works so well with something like maybe uh, a Victor, a Brand, an Annie, That's... a Cassiopeia, something where you can really just drop down thousands and thousands of magic damage. Um, a Janna or a Soraka pick, you don't really have that sustained burst that will fall to zero someone throughout the, I think it's 1.8 yeah, seconds. Yeah, you basically just want somebody with, with some sort of ult um, that nukes. Yep. A- anything yeah, like right. that will pretty much guarantee a kill because you uh, we give your entire combo plus the extra damage from yeah. Warwick plus whatever damage they've taken. That's I will say a, a hidden points. OP that the community at large has not yet discovered is oh, yeah? uh, AP Ezreal mid with Warwick Jungle um, because you can get your full four, four spell combo off which has among yeah. the highest damage of any uh, champ in the game just in terms of base. You know, and my, in uh, fact, you I can, played a lot of APS yeah, on Dominion and yeah. he is He's a ton of really fun. strong and really un- undervalued currently. I mean, he lacks, uh, he lacks uh, a wave clear in Summoner's mm-hmm. Rift, and he lacks CC, which is, you know, the lack of a wave clear means you can't really roam. The lack of CC is something that almost every other AP mid has, barring yeah. maybe Vladimir. Um, but I wouldn't say that that makes him unviable. I think he's my favorite champ to play. And, uh, yeah, I love APS. It's um, it's great. Yep. Unfortunately, uh, I, I think, think we're we... going to see a Teemo... <laughs> That's probably wait. Well, what is this have... team? Where is only jungles? He's, he's, got, he's got to be jungle twitch. He's, he'll he'll probably just change the the surge into a smite. He'll probably keep revive though. I think because he's such a vindictive little little fella, I think he's not going to do that. Now that he's heard he's... us talking about it, he's just going to hold on. Oh, to that. you think you think this is just roam twitch? Who knows? I mean, it it could easily be. I mean, when you have revive and um surge like that, like. You can get back and you can just be in places where your opponent won't won't expect you to be, and on top of that, you're going to do a lot of damage. Yeah. Um, Rome Twitch. Wow, that's an interesting pick. And bot lane is like not going to be at a shortage for CC with that Leona, so this should be interesting. Um, I'm actually. Gotta, by we'll, the way, I'm going to check out the runes on Twitch. See if he's going to run a crit page. Uh. Oh, wow, empty room pages. No, yeah, he... there. Ah, he switched. Ah, uh, boo. No, dude, you knew he was going to switch. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> I wonder what room page he's actually going to use. He has this attack speed. 
physical damage. I, I think he's likely going to use his Lee Sin Rin page. Scaling MR, AD, and some armor and some armor. Um, whoa, that was loud. That, that sounds exactly like, like, I just have the room page called High Yellow Play, which is just, you know, I think it's at, at this point attack damage, armor, MR, yeah. all flat. It's, the way to it's go. just like, it's, it's, you know, you, you can't Hard really games. go wrong. Yep. No, I actually, uh, it was sort of funny. I, I, I have a love-hate relationship. Oh, he does have Ignite, though, which is interesting. Um, so he's definitely yeah. going to go very aggressive, try and get up some early kills. Um, As Jungle Twitch, you can't afford not to, really. That's um, Dan Dan has talked about this a lot, where like the only reason you go Jungle Twitch is if you're dead set on snowballing your lanes and getting some kills, because you will fall off. There, yeah. it's, it's something you cannot avoid, and you have to make sure the rest of your team is strong enough, yeah. and that the the like the sprinkle of damage that you're going to be doing over the entire fight um, mean, means enough to the fight at the end because of how snowballed the rest of your team is. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I don't know if I told you this, or talked about it on stream or something mm -hmm. yesterday, just regarding that Twitch bit. I, uh, I did dodge uh, earlier... I think last month I dodged about 250 elo uh, from yep. the 1800s down to the 1500s. And then I sort of, it, it was like I was on a train or like a, a long car ride. And I, yeah. I got off the train into the 1500s, like, you know, open the door, step out, get onto the rift, like smell the fresh air. And uh -huh. the other team had a jungle twitch. And I don't even remember what I was playing. Uh, I know it was an AP mid. But um, uh, in fact, I think it was AP Ezreal. And oh, cool. level one, the Doran's Blade Twitch ganked mid, and I used my yeah. Arcane Shift to get away. But in two shots, he crit me two times. And oh, God. instantly, first of all, so now every time I'm going to cast from now on, I'm going to check that Twitch's room page. See, I think it was a 20% crit chance room page. And that's what? the kind it of thing. It was just flat crit chance. Flat crit chance. And that's the thing. That... That that um that Twitch just rolled the dice, you know, and I guess every game yeah. he plays, he just rolls the dice. He asks his team for a strong leash on red buff. He starts with a Doran's blade. He deceives. He goes mid, and then he just says, "I'm gonna roll the dice. I'm gonna go for the crit." And oh, and I didn't get it. And then I guess yeah. when it happens, I think he crit me for 178 damage two times in a row. Oh, wow! And then it was just like instantly dead. Um. Wow. So I'm I mean, trying to think, like, it's 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 nuts. a strategy. <laughs> it's a strategy that will either totally it, it, well, work it, it or works totally four percent work. of the time. Yeah, exactly. Twenty times <laughs> point point two times point two, uh, four percent. Point zero four. Yep. Yep. I'm pretty good at the mental math. Yeah. There we go. Uh, we do that's see. What I bring, that's what I bring to the table. <laughs> so we do see nostalgia darkly is an AP mid main, and we can see him playing Fizz, which I think is a amazing champ design. In terms of the champs that Riot has put out, this guy has a long list of counters and a long list of counter picks, yeah. right? And if you can I, see... I 100% agree. Yeah. It, the, I don't the think... The thing about Fizz is yeah. that he's got all of the tools. Yeah. He has a bunch of tools and it's just, it's all about combining them. That's why what makes him so much fun to play is because you, you would never feel like the control has been completely wrested from you by the yeah, other team. Yeah. You always like are able to think back over the situation if you die and think about how you could have played it better, how yeah. you could have positioned better, how you yeah. could have sequenced your skills better. And characters like that are just a ton of fun to play. Yeah. I uh, and also I love this uh, fisherman fizz skin. I think we were talking about it the other day when we saw yeah. another. I think Deary was playing uh, fizz. That game didn't go so well, but it was still even when mm. the ultis missed. It was great to see that uh, big earth. Right out of the uh, the river yep. and eat that. Got to uh, eat them lobsters. Eat that lobster exactly. So this time, I think we also saw a jungle fizz, which I think, yeah, I think that it was a, a jungle fizz. This time, I think nostalgia will be playing AP mid fizz. Mm. Um, Let's see. Um, what time are you at? I'm at uh, twenty right now. Oh wow, we're like almost right on top of each other this time. Oh awesome. Yay, we'll both be able to say things and it'll make sense. <laughs> yeah. You can um, see the, by the way, the Soraka started with a pink ward and the Leona did uh -huh. not, which I think is, I think pink ward, two wards, and one pot is the superior build if you're playing a ranged support. You can deny the other the other team vision of that brush, um, 
and uh, and and really clear their ward and then auto attack them from the brush, which I think is yeah. interesting. It looks and, like... um, on top of that, it's got that double use in this situation where they do have a twitch. Yep. So this is going to be able to catch that twitch. Yep. Um, even if he tries hiding it in the, a brush or something, it'll make sure that um, those early twitch ganks that are one of the only things that ha have a lot of success down bottom early on mm -hmm. um, won't be nearly as effective. It looks like purple's going for an invade yep. um, over here on the blue blue. Yeah, Corky and Sirak are split up. They find the Warwick. Oh, oh but the, the, the only twitch. Jungle. Unstealth. He uses, I think he used his, uh, his attack way too quickly. Maybe he was attack Maybe move or something. Maybe a misclick. Yeah. But I think he didn't get his time. Uh, his team I, I think he actually what, what actually just happened was um, he forgot how short the level one stealth is on Twitch, oh, which is actually a, a fairly short skill. He unstealth. And that was just like, oh, we have to go, because he had stealth fairly quick, because he he was in the same stealth that he had used to check out the other two bushes. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, it's only a 10 second, uh, 10 second uh, attack speed, I mean, stealth, stealth buff. Um, mm -hmm. But we actually see, even though blue team, I think they assume that that buff is gone, uh, purple team did actually back off and didn't decide to steal it. Um, yep. I don't know what that's wow. going to mean for Twitch, because at, he is getting, getting very low. really low on these wraiths already. Yeah. In fact, running away from the last one, uh, he's going to have to back super early on, and the, the dangers of jungle twitch... He has three like, health bots, like... why didn't he take the health bots? And now Warwick, uh, deciding that he's at the advantage and going into counter jungle, the purple team's blue buff. Oh, um, I was just talking to a friend of, about this top lane setup, though. Udyr, um, Teemo is one of the hardest counters for Udyr. Really? It's, it's one of the only good counters, because every time he runs up, you can blind him. Yeah. And then you're gonna get a few free auto attacks off on it. Yeah. And Udyr, without the ability to actually hit with his attacks, isn't very effective. Mm -hmm. um, especially not um, Tiger Stance. So, I mean, we'll see how this lane goes, but Teemo should be able to deny him pretty hardcore, even from early on. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of armor on Udyr, but that doesn't affect the, um, the poison from the poison Teemo that much. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it... We'll see how it goes. I mean, against a Twitch jungle especially, um, mm -hmm. uh, the Udyr could just see a, you know, see a Twitch easily sneaking up behind him in lane, and that could be a first blood later on. Uh, Warwick Udyr is not a very big threat for Teemo because they have to get in melee range to be effective, at least until Warwick hits level 6. And with Teemo's yeah. move quick, he's just going to be able to run away. And Asili's gonna have to really work to get this um, this top lane running the way yeah. he wants to. Because I think one of the one of the big flaws of Teemo is that he does push lanes um, pretty hard because obviously you always want to be harassing. So as you can see yeah. now, Nasili has the freak wave right up against his turret. Mm -hmm. um, but then again, I mean, Teemo becomes one of the safest laners in the game when he hits six because he gets all those yeah. free wards in the form of mushrooms. You just go, you put, you put him out. What's the jungler gonna do? Yep. You're gonna have mushrooms everywhere yep uh not seeing really i think leona ezreal is a lane that is about at its strongest it'll ever be um yeah. around level three so we'll see if they do go for some uh early aggression down here i think blue we should... already got the pink ward down and yeah. they didn't drop inside a bush so yeah. they um things um purple's got uh ward down in that bottom bush so we'll see mm -hmm. I think we should keep our eye on Twitch. Oh, he is actually around mid. Uh, he is only level 2 though, his jungle was severely kind of hurt. Um... The ping goes down onto uh, Nostalgia. It looks like Warwick might be moving into position to maybe do a gank. Yeah. Um, but Twitch shows himself mid, just grabbing a few CS and maybe um, heading on out. I don't know, I think he, he might be get, gathering enough experience to level the 3 here. Yeah. I think Warwick Man. should be hitting level 4 either after these double golems or probably actually after Wraith Camp. Um, Interesting. Whereas... This AP Jan is um, leveling her abilities a little bit differently than you normally think. Oh, yeah. well, actually uh, down bottom. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the uh, I think that was just an all-in from Leona and Ezreal. Uh, they yep. do have a lot of kill potential because Ezreal is great at popping. Oh, wow. Here it goes again. Fox, and there's the, there's the extra kill. You can see Leona at level 3 has uh, 3 passive procs available, and Ezreal obviously has those 3 offensive abilities, which do a very good job of getting a, uh, a proc in each time. Um, 
That Janna shield just making her um, win a lot of these trades, but oh, she go she goes down real low she against pops the heal. Pops her. Just barely surviving that. Uh, but yeah, so usually uh, if you max Q on AP Janna, you'll have an easy time farming. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, maxing Zephyr, it is actually a huge nuke. Uh, it's got a very good ratio. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I think a point eight or point hot or like seven point seven five or something, um, and it's targeted. Although, I don't know, if you put all your eggs into that one basket, this can just go for your, uh, because it's not an instant spell, it does have a travel yeah. time. Uh, it seems like it, that's it not really what you want to do against a, a Fizz. I think you'd rather just play it safe and farm up and, um, I don't know, we'll see. Warwick is heading <laughs> over to blue. Uh, Teemo is now actually already level 6, uh, starting yeah. to shroom up getting that uh, Shroom Fortress down. It looks like Warwick is going to have a hard time ganking him if he attempts a, a gank up, up top on this Teemo. Cool. Um, and, and not only that, but um, Teemo can outrun Bear Stance using Move Quick. Yeah. So Uder's not going to be able to catch him to start the gank. It's going to have to be Warwick CC at the very, very start. And then they're going to have to try and chase him through the bushes. Yeah. Which is our, uh, <laughs> the, undoubtedly the... full of, t of Shrooms. Yeah. So. Like, so, this Teemo is going to be excessively safe. Yeah, at the moment, uh, Nis uh, Nisli's, Nisli, not Nisili, Nisli's bear stance is a 15% boost speed steroid, uh, Teemo's is a 20% steroid, so he is going to very safely be able to get away from that bear stance. Um, so I think unless we see Warwick doing some kind of creative gank, you can see the wraiths on purple side are not yet warded, so Warwick might want to try and sneak up behind Teemo um, the long way. But uh, but no, I think it's going to be very hard for uh, Blue Team to really put a lot of pressure on Needle up top. It looks like he is doing a good yeah. job of uh, harassing down Udyr whenever he has a chance. 45 CS to 47. Actually, so he's not really putting that pressure that he wants. Um, obviously, Nis it, it, Nisili with that uh, sorry Nisli with that turtle stance is uh, very survivable. I mean, but that's sort of what what the trade-off he's making. He's going to get that early test and he'll be able to get to his items, but, I mean, he has four ranks in um, turtle stance. <laughs> this is unheard of at this level, you know? You should have Tiger, you should be um, yeah. making trades in lanes, because this Teemo yeah. is just going to get hella farmed. Yeah. Um, some action down bottom is probably going to start up pretty soon. We've got um, a level 5 and almost level oh, 6. Actually, Janna almost going down, had to use her ultimate, but now we're looking bot. The Warwick is here, he's only level 5. Uh, some nice damage coming off the Leona ult just barely misses Bad Milk, and uh, oh. Alfie is a god. Chasing the Ezreal down, oh, and he nearly goes down at 20 health left. In, in fact, if, if, a sing, if one more creep yeah. had died during that the duration of that fight, Warwick would have hit 6. Yeah. Uh, so, um. right now we actually have everyone low. Twitch is low in his jungle, this oh. oh, wow, and Ezreal and, goes and he down. Died, but he was going to go down to the tower, and now... The Soraka oh, underneath no. the turret next to that Leona. A nice shield. Really yeah. hurt. Good silence. Bad she has that back buff. In. And Corky's Able in. To pick up the kill. Top it. Oh, and they wow. will trade kills. Megs with a nice flash to pick up the kill with that. I think that was her uh, her shield move. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's that called? Shield of Daybreak. Uh, but Corky getting that blue buff is significant because he is a... Wait. Corky didn't pick up the kill, actually. Soraka picked no. up the kill. So, no, they traded. So the it blue was, buff was it's gone. fizzled. It's gone. Lost uh, in the air. That is very unfortunate for Corky, who scales very well from both CDR and mana region, because he can really throw those rockets out and the phosphorus bomb to punish Ezreal. Um, he's a very much a poke based, ability based champion. So that is very unfortunate that Silence trying to save herself and instead uh, picking up the kill. Um, yeah. So not, not ideal for blue team at the moment. No, definitely not. And, and they're a little bit behind, but overall, you know, um, this there's not a significant lead for either team. The um, only real significant difference in CS is um, belonging to... Well, there's two. They're... Nope, they're the same, actually. Yeah, I'm by like, the way, Twitch is, Twitch is mid. There might be a successful gank. Uh, there are no pink wards mid. Yeah, that, He's just kind of waiting around down. Jana. Oh, but oh and the shark just the... barely misses. Oh. And they both and got on the she same side right of Janna, which knocks him out. made it very easy for Janna to just knock him away. Yep. Oh, but Warwick moving in for counter gank, he does have his ultimate up. Might go for a kill on that Fizz. The Janna tornado is down. The Fizz pool is used. But it doesn't look they're like they're that interested in diving right now. 
Um, they, they know they don't know where Twitch is currently, and there's not a ping cord around, so he could be potentially any, oh, but um, anywhere. Oh, but getting chased upriver by Leona. Uh... This could be a bad um, situation for this, for this um, Looks like Soraka Soraka's right in now. a lot of trouble. 4v1 here. Sorakama Soraka goes down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Corky was just lagging a little bit too far behind that Ezreal. Yeah. And because of that, they weren't really able to scare him off with damage. Yeah. I think um, the Soraka, is backed. maybe just a, a little bit of miscommunication, maybe she didn't know the Twitch was around. Um, I think she just she just kind of lingered a little too long in that ramp. She should have just, you know, her flash is up. She she could have just easily flashed a safe way. safety. I just don't think she knew that Twitch was there. Meg spamming that laugh down in bot lane on the McCorky. Okay. Oh, and um, they ult Fizz mid, but Fizz is able to walk away. Um, from the Warwick gank. So, Warwick, I mean, not necessarily making the best use of, of his ultimate. I mean, he had, he had to dive to get the kill bottom lane, and they ended up trading, I believe, two, um, two for two down there. And then, um, you know, he wasn't really able to make anything of it this time in mid, so... But what's happening here is Fizz has almost double the CS. No, more than double the CS. I'm... No, wait. I can't... I can do math, I swear. Uh, <laughs> 96 had, has, would be double. So just under yes. double. Uh -huh. Um, and I mean, that here is... by 37. Yeah, I, so. I hate to say it, but I like neither the build nor the skill order of this AP Janna. Um, mm -hmm. once you hit level 5, I mean, whether you want to go straight for like a Blasting Wand Death Cap, or you want to stack a couple of Grand Drain, <laughs> she, she, she like, misses she's the trying to pick. Yeah, uh, and then, the, the and then it resets. resets a little bit. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, Twitch is heading down bot, but I think they're, yeah, there's They've a got pink board at Dragon. Right. Uh, so... Uh, they were able to back off the, um, but yeah, this Janna could be, uh, easily at, you know, 100 CS right now because she's not really dying, um, but she, it looks like she's going for a Rod of Ages, and I just don't think that is such an effective, uh, way to play AP Janna. You're not playing at her strength, so, uh, being able to push. Right now, you see the Fizz is bought. He is picked up by the Ward, but Janna really has no way to push in the turret. As yeah. AP Janna, anytime your lane goes away, you can just force them to lose 6 CS, and that is huge. It means if they didn't get the kill, you probably win the trade. So she is doing a great I job I want of to talk about Top lane right now, though. Okay. Um, what, what I've been noticing, I've been kind of trying to keep an eye on it, um, and, th and Twitch is, and Fizz are tossing around bottom for a, a gank, so we should keep an eye on that. Okay. But top lane, the builds, um, Uder has gone with that super safe double gold for okay, cannon build. Gank is coming down, but the Fizz ult actually connects to the Sorak, the Ez ult hits. The healing debuff goes on. This is probably going to be enough to go. Ezreal actually goes down. And now it's yeah, on Twitch. This could Twitch. be it. Oh, yeah. barely. Oh, barely oh, surviving. Dying, but uh, here's the Warwick trying to, to pick, pick up, up maybe a double kill. Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, you wow. can't see you can't Twitch see when he's self with that. But. How much longer? Yeah, Twitch is, that, is going to yeah, barely no, scoot out of there. But he's uh, just, yet uh, another 2v2. Yeah. But it looks like uh, Warwick is going to make the right call and go for that dragon. Uh, the Fizzle is down, and the Twitch is not in any position to try and save it. Uh, Fizz taking two health bots, he's going to get up to around 500 health, um, but still very easily going down. To, uh, will go down to Warwick, who still has his ulti up in back. Um, they, they're called, they're, um, but their team is calling him off. Yeah. They're afraid that um, Ezreal and. Um, oh wow! But Leonard here's Twitch time. trying to get the slowdown on. A oh, and AP John picks oh. up the kill by maxing that ever. That is the advantage that she is looking for from maxing that skill uh, over the And cube. Nostalgia has no mana, so he's got no ability to just follow this up for a kill. And then the ult from Warwick, maybe a little bit of a miscommunication as yeah. um, Nostalgia is not that hurt. And Nostalgia leading him into a position where he's just going to be able to jump over the wall. Or he, oh. he burns the Oh, flag. wow, and the, and the W. It, but there's a lot. Oh, and Warwick Corky coming up from the kill. bottom. Now let's see what they're able to do here. Because Janna does have her ulti up, does have the mana to follow through with it, does get that W off. But not um, able to follow it up that time. Oh, oh, and a nice people coming out! Uh, uh, barely, oh. barely, barely missing that second rocket, which... Oh, and the yeah. Ezreal actually blows his heel. The Warwick Blood Scent goes back on it. What are they going to so, do? So are the gonna early miss? lead that um, Purple had started to establish is starting to fall off. And on top of that, because of the fact that um, Teemo decided to build a Riggles, which is not exactly something I would recommend on Teemo, um, the lane is no longer so far in his favor. If he had the health, if he had the straight damage of a phage or something, he would no. be in a lot better situation. But he's. I think pretty pretty much when you're when the person you're laning against builds GP5, if you're not yeah. killing them, 
you're losing the lane because yeah assuming equal cs and i mean actually right now udir has slightly more cs it is going to go into the favor oh shriek gets a nice ulti down on the jana the twitch takes up a kill this twitch spray and paint is hitting all of them yeah, a lot of big damage and just oh wow, look at this Warwick getting super Warwick low. Warwick is hit by the fizzle, definitely gonna go down there. Another kill from Twitch. And oh wow, and the Ezreal uh, out from Art using Arcane Shift to get into the fight. He landed a nice W. It looks like Corky is gonna go down. Oh, but a nice escape over the Dragon Pit while Soraka is picked up. However, the Corky makes a very daring escape over mm -hmm. that uh, Dragon Wall. Is he gonna be able to find a spot to be before Fizz? Oh finds god. Him? Nostalgia is looking for him. Oh, he might get to that bush. Oh no, he checks his head. Uh, oh, kind of jungling. So close. Yep. Soraka says pink wad OP. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I just think that Twitch was just right outside the range of it. He was hugging that inside wall, so he was uh, okay. right outside where um, where they knew where he was. Yeah. So um, yeah, that was, was a lot of was, what made that fight happen. Yeah, he was kind of over by the uh, by that brush near Dragon. He wasn't. It, anywhere in view of that pink ward. Uh, great positioning from Twitch. I don't know if he knew exactly where that ward was, but uh, he managed to just barely skirt alongside it. Warwick is coming in. Oh. He has his ult! Oh wow, that's, that's probably a dead ass. Very Jeez. nicely done. Very good rockets from that mill coming out. One thing about Alfie is a god, usually, you know, when you see a Warwick who's safely able to get into range, they'll often leave the Q and then they use the art to sort of reset the yeah. cooldown on Q. You don't see him doing that, but I guess against an Ezreal, you're afraid of him just dashing away. So maybe, yeah. uh, maybe you know, especially since Bad Milk has so much damage right now with the PS4 and the pickaxe, um, oh, was wow. the, the right decision. Uh, up top, though, you see Teemo is starting to fall behind this uh, Udyr. He's getting a lot more confident. He now has a full level 5 Tiger Stance and a full level 5 Turtle Stance. Um, yep. So Teemo is just not uh, all that frightening. I no, he's he's just not. You can just pop that um, that turtle and, and be safe all day. And not only that, but he's able to manage his mana a lot better than this, um, than the Teemo, who if he'd gone for with like maybe a Trinity Force centered build, he um, might he might have the mana from the Sheen, the extra damage yeah. from um, I don't know. popping I, both lines. I think that. that Riggles is a great uh, item on Twitch because it helps you push. And really, Twitch doesn't have a whole lot in his arsenal that will help him push a wave other than his shrooms, and obviously you, you'd, you'd rather use your shrooms to kind of ward up the surrounding areas than, uh, than use it to push away. So I think Riggles is yeah. a decent item on him. Gives you some sustain, mm -hmm. gives you some pushing power. It's just, it's clearly... Oh no. Um, oh, that... Twitch takes the blue, or...? Yeah, Twitch accidentally took the blue. Yeah. I, but anyway, I yeah, in, in, too. in terms of the top matchup, I think it is going to go in the favor of the uh, Udyr. Um, yeah. Teemo with 2.2k, Udyr with 2.7k, they're both very rich. Uh, and it, I think it will be interesting to see how this lane matchup changed. I think um, Teemo is probably going to want to pick up Zerk's Greaves and maybe a uh, Frozen Mallet or a Phage or something. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, someone's going low. Who is that? Shreve, AP uh, Jana going mid in the Twitch Fizz gang. Did work. Low Fizz It's no, just didn't. that Twitch, I mean, that Twitch has four kills. Yeah. Like, and he has three assists on top of that. He's been a big part of why their um, the game has been so successful. Um, bottom lane, we're seeing a little bit of action. Corky has decided that Valking in is the correct option, and he's going to get hit with a um, with an ult from Megs, too. No. So, it's wow. Go down. Everything being used bottom, trying to yeah. get alive. But that was just, it was a little bit too aggressive on the Valk. I and think uh, Corky has repeatedly said that um, he is playing like a real man. He is playing, he said it earlier, he said, I am a man, and his playstyle is to Valkyrie in and go balls deep, and you know what? You can't really do that against a Leona and a Healing Knight Ez. <laughs> there was a Twitch gang top, they were trying to get the lane back a little bit, but Twitch um, actually wasn't stealth. Oh. And... Oh, and actually, Corky's saying that it was actually a bug that happened. Ezreal was uh, auto-attacking yeah. from inside the brush, but Leona wasn't showing up, so he thought it was a 2 you, you, you don't You don't get vision of the entire inside the brush, you only get vision of the stuff that auto-attacks, right? No, no, so you, do get, you do get vision inside the brush, I think it's just maybe uh, the Leona gank was slightly up, out, of, top. out of lane. There is a gank top, I think uh, there's also a gank coming in bot, a 2v4. Uh, the Leona goes down, the Ezreal will almost surely go down to this war call. Meanwhile, the Udi are just able to survive. Um, so we do see Dragon is up at the moment, and there are four people from blue team uh, poised to take it. 
So we'll see what they yeah, do. The Twitch is moving down. Um, moving down I don't fizz? think they're going to, just out of fear of the Twitch and Fizz, and yeah. just the fact that um, Purple was able to take a tower, mm -hmm. so it's not quite so safe. They don't have somewhere close by they yeah. can run. So it I looks think like they're, they're just going to go. Tur yeah, trade turrets. Um, but yeah, uh, the, um, this, new, um, Nisley, sorry, um, is saying that um, Twitch has been camping top. I guess there must have been more ganks top, but he's done a really <laughs> good I think job. Twitch has of, just done a great job of kind of making his presence known everywhere. Um, yeah, no, this has been a really good jungle Twitch yep. overall. I would say that there was some, it, maybe some issues at the beginning. Look at this. He's hiding inside the brush, even in stealth, because he knows that if there's a pink ward, it's not going to pick up on him. Really, really smart play. Um, looks like they might try and ambush someone walking alone after this, but just nothing quite in position for him. Um, Twitch is running out of that stealth. Um, I don't know if he realized so that. A safe but... location. I think he's going to yeah. wait for it to come on cooldown and maybe go in for the gank because Purple Team is grouping up. Ezreal and Leona have made their way mid. Um... Leona ulti is off cooldown. If you combine the Fizz ult, oh, and Bad Milk has just gone back. Fizz was just looking to throw that fish in there, but not quite finding the opportunity yeah. that he wanted. Corky picking up an early QSS. I mean, I say early, but he's also leading the game in CS and has his IE, uh, although he hasn't upgraded his boots just yet. Yeah. So and he's I, got six kills. Yeah, as we mentioned the other day, um, Quick Service Sash will drop Fizz fish onto the ground. Mm -hmm. And um, on top of that, it also drops um, all of the effects of Twitch. And just having six stacks of Twitch poison, that poison lasts forever, man. Yeah. You think you think you're safe? You're never safe. That, yep. that thing, like, it, I don't know what the actual um, duration of it is. I could probably check that yep. here for yeah, six Twitch. seconds. Six seconds. Yep. That, that is a long time. Yep. Uh, Red it's, buff, true, it's true damage. Yeah. Red buff just came up for blue team, and purple has ward in the brush, but it doesn't actually provide vision. Uh, oh, and Warwick being found by Leona. The ult goes down from Fizz. The oh, Nike great ult. Excellent hey. Leona ult. Uh, but but Corky able to pick up an aggressive flash from Meg. So much damage. I don't think Meg's really understood that the Corky has completed his IE already. Um, no, that flash did so much damage. He flashed in to try and CS at all. Stun him. Wow, the Corky has a 50 CS lead over um, Purple Team's Ezreal. Although mm. the major CS advantage in the game is going to this Udyr, who's going to very big. Wow. 4.6k gold. gold on the Udyr at the moment. He's got that double yeah. GP5, and he hasn't gone back to bot in at least 12 minutes. He's level wow. 16 now. Yeah, he's got he's got almost a thousand gold lead over this Teemo. Yeah. By far the highest gold in the game. At eight thousand Oh no, sorry, that's Corky. No, that's on the Corky. Yeah, well I mean eight kills, I guess. Who now is, has eight kills? <laughs> a little bit that more is a scary uh, than Corky. the GP five that Udu's picked up. And not only that, but he's he's using the slightly more scaling build, no. Yeah. I um, actually, no Trinity I, Force, whereas I as I believe is building the Trinity this, Force. This Twitch, uh, sorry, about this Teemo's decision making here. He has 4,000 gold in the bank, and he's yep. not spending it on something that will help him shut down the GP5 Udyr. If I were that Teemo player, I'd be going back every single time I had a major item lined up. Because a Teemo with a Frozen Mallet is a thousand times scarier than a Teemo with a Wriggles and it's a Dagger. Um, some pings coming out from Blue Team. Oh, the he's he's got his Blood Razor down. Yeah, the Warwick! The Warwick gets caught by the Fizzle and the Leona ult. Looks like he is gonna die. Yep. But he then here comes um, Corky, Corky trying to clean up that Twitch. Twitch. Uh, there, um, the Disengages. Fizz is doing some damage, but that Corky just does so much. And we've got a hidden um, Twitch just kind of chilling on top of two of his own wards. Uh, oh, Megs wow. is gonna get dropped by that Corky. Uh, a lot heal of down, but Corky not drops. Not quite able to pick it up. Will the Jana be able to flash it? Her flash is on cooldown. Aww. Uh, Oh, but Ezreal getting pretty low. Gonna get not quite oh, picked up by that. Barely missing that tornado. Yep, that. I will learn um, Jenna's ability names. Ooh, and Udyr says, wrong item, cutie. You needed mallet. I think that that is the right call. Uh, the Madras Blood Razor is gonna mean a 
very squishy Teemo, who doesn't really actually do all that much damage because Udyr is going to be able to pick up a lot of defense um, mm -hmm. with his 5.5k gold. He's just purchased a Frozen Mallet. Uh, a fr Frozen Mallet and, and, a, and a Warden's um, Mail. Warden's I Mail, think... which is just going to wreak havoc on this Teemo, but Teemo's just taking the tower. Yeah. But I think what's going to happen is, if this Teemo goes for that auto attack because he wants the Madras box on Udyr, Udyr's going to wait for that uh, that proc on Warden's Mail and then just charge him with that Frozen Mallet. And it won't, it won't really matter. Stance, uh, what won't really matter? I, no, I think uh, Udyr is in an excellent position to kill um, Teemo. Oh, although... Well, Teemo, can, Teemo, can just pop, Teemo can just flop his mind and Jan is going to get picked up by that fist. Jano just getting too low around. Oh, wow. Purple team might be able to bear him. He flashes out. He forced to flash away. He doesn't want to lose that Oracle. Um, I think he could have survived easily without that flash. But Yeah. Look, a lot of posturing in the left hand side of Blue's jungle, just trying to figure out um, exactly where everyone is. Um, they're going to go in on this more um, way. Oh, they, they tried to smack the bad to a death. Bad Mill oh, wow. goes down to a, to a long auto attack. Oh, but a nice forward roll onto the Fizz. is in turret range. Get the side. Oh, oh, but a hey, nice April. jump from Mex. Oh, able to get on. And the Ezreal takes up the kill. Mex is just... Oh, wow. Also, 87 health on that Mex. Uh, Purple Team just getting very low, so they're not going to be able to go for that Baron, but they did pick up, I think, three kills there. Uh, the reason I say that um, Udyr, um, the fact that he, that the Warden Mail proc won't matter is because Teemo will still be exceptionally safe with the blind. Well, let's watch right now. Teemo... Yeah, I, he didn't use the blind at the correct time. Either that or it was down. Yeah, um, Teemo... But it looks like maybe this oh, was bait no, all along? I don't know. I think it looks like he said he had a little bit of lag there. Stopped auto attacking, but a nice bear stance on it. Israel. He's going to get wow. away. Ezreal well comes out. Not going to do any damage to that Udyr. Do wow, we have and to... Ezra getting very low from that Janna Tornado. Keep in mind, she is AP and she has about 200 AP. Um, and she so finally has doing... that level up. Yeah. So that's doing about wow. 300 damage, even just, uh, uh, you know, instantly cast Tornado, which is interesting. They are, by the way, changing Janna uh, in this patch. I don't know if you read about that. Um, the mm -hmm. uh, knock the knock up on Janna's Tornado will now scale with the amount of time it's been uh, channeled for. As it's well as... Set. No, only the damage, not the not the knockup. Huh. I I don't know why. I, I guess I guess I did play on the PB a little bit this um, week, but I remember seeing that recently. Where I was like, I would throw a short gen at Q, and it would, would just knock him up a little bit, yeah. which I think is cool. I think it, it, it makes the ability. I wouldn't say it makes the ability worse, definitely, but it makes yeah. the. Um, oh, and there's some action going down on top. Oh, Twitch is up top. This is gonna be trouble for Nisli, almost definitely losing their oracles. This is moving in behind, but he's not even gonna need to be there, I think, with uh, just this Twitch is gonna pick up the kill. Yep. And this Twitch is starting to get a little bit out of control. He's already got that black cleaver. Mm -hmm. So, but they, they were able to take um, mid tower while all that oh, was going on. Blue They're team gonna pinging dragon, dragon, but they might just go for Baron. Their oh, pigs wow. are coming out. They, they don't have... Great I think blue boring. team is making a big mistake here. No, they, they seem... They, they, they know, they know. They're moving in. Yeah. But it might be... It'll be Baron done by the time is going to be done with that, uh, that blood razor on Evo. Just instantly taking it down. Oh, wow. And, oh, and the Janna um, just barely gets hit by that fizzle. A nice ulti. Knocks him all the way back to that turret. Very good Janna ulti and Warwick ulti. Good teamwork there. I think saves it. Almost yeah. picked up the kill. What, what's this Ezreal doing? Could be baiting into the not room. Not in the best situation. Oh, wow. And that's the back of the Twitch. Twitch. But not able to capitalize on it. Not this yet. just I mean. control for the mid. Oh, work. What are you doing? Oh, he has his wits in. He has his chainmail. This is very tanky. Yeah. So what's not think? Scared. This is, uh, I think, one of the better... Um, in houses we've seen so far, a oh, very close game. I mean, only a two K goal difference. One point, yeah, I know. Seriously, and on top of that, like there's been action and really good play on both sides. On both sides, I mean, blue at this point would have been better off if they just had grabbed that dragon. Yeah, and they're still looking to get it. It seems they've got a uh, a bunch of people around there, and purple. They, I mean, they definitely backed 
right um, right after they had gotten pretty low, especially when the edge just came a little bit out of position. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there are strong characters on both sides. That Teemo is really scary. Like overall, he's got a Madrids, you know. Yeah. He's got a Madrids. He's um, working on his um, present on mallet. his mallet. Yep. He's um, the Ud the Udir is super strong. He's already got his omen, his mallet, to, um, still um, a philosopher's stone and a kindle gem. Like yep. Yeah, and then um, you know Warwick's um, on his way to a frozen heart. Um, Janna's got a decent amount of AP. Fizz ha has both the, the death cap and the lich bane. Yeah, that's huge. Um, and on top of that, he's he's got two gold pretend items still <laughs> just sitting in his inventory, taking up. Um, the Twitch is scary. It's got a, um, a Black Cleaver, Not a Phage, yeah. um, tr Trinity Force down on Ezreal. We a do lot see of, Ez that, has around 1,300 gold. I don't know why he has a dagger in his inventory. Is he going to go for a PD? Is he going to go for something else? I'd like to see an Infinity Edge being picked up um, to get that crit, da crit damage going down. Oh, but Soraka does get found. Not enough. And they back off after yeah. losing a turret. After it starts taking is a turret. Fizz is fighting, fighting with, with... Ooh, Nisli is very overextended. Warwick is coming but... to help. He's He does have that Warden's Mail. Flashes the Fizzle connects. He might go down to this. I think he will. Oh, Jonathan, and Jonathan oh, and Jonathan did not... Oh, oh wow. Wow, and wow, just getting one shot by that Fizz. Sound the Dark Lady and a huge amount of damage. This is just spiraling out of control for Blue Team, who are fighting. <laughs> I think Nisli is just too overextended without wards. I mean, he... he yeah. He's already lost the oracles from over since once. Um, Blue team is very much should be playing on the defense right now after losing their gold advantage in the last fight. His fist is just yeah. a certain amount of damage Crap. onto that Soraka. Who actually dies to the W even after really? using her heal. That is insane. She just got two shots yes. by Southern Dark Lady. That Lich Bane, you, that you really can't let a Fizz farm this much because, yeah. like. Oh, and the arc goes down on the oh, back no. who doesn't QSS it? That is a delayed ace uh, at Purple Team just playing uh, and very well. An Blue Team being very and that sloppy. Could even, that could like even be game. They, want to consider they do it. have a Lich Bane proc on Fizz and a Triforce proc on Ez, which of course pushes very hard against turrets. And this is just an example. Oh, Meg's getting very low also. Are yeah. they going to go for the ult? Oh, uh, I ulted by Warwick. Looks like um, Ez is going to turn around and try to help out, but Ez may be overextending a little bit. Oh, but a good, a good ult should keep oh, him safe. Oh, but it looks like the general might be able to just team oh, sure goes down. That, and then, that improved speed on the active. I was on the just gonna say the new arm time totally saving yeah. Megs there. Um, Baron has still worn chasing out for purple because um, Warwick can see her, but looks like they're gonna back off a little bit. Yeah. And Twitch and Ezreal kind of moving in, maybe looking to try and take down that Warwick. Yeah. It this game is just full of. Yeah, I, I, you know, pretty much the whole time after Bad Milk built up such a huge lead, I thought that they were just going to take this game with ease, but um, seeing how strong Fizz is as a single target assassin right now, uh, unless Jonna can really get, you know, a shield onto Corky. Uh, oh no, John is. Um, ooh, speaking of John, look where she is. She is surrounded by the purple team, and already a slow, and, oh, and picks up that fizzle, yeah. and even the heal is enough to save her then. Um, you are safe nowhere on this map with it with a Twitch down. Yeah, and I think that this is just uh, Blue Team being a little sloppy against Twitch and Biz, who are very strong single target assassins. Um, there's a lot of gank potential. Uh, wow. Yeah, I mean, and what we have to say is that in, there, in no way is Blue Team out of this game. Like, this game is still absurdly close. There's only a 5k um, gold difference. You know, um, they, there's a lot of strength between that Udir and that um, Corky. Yeah. So they can still, they they have that Warwick ult, they have the um, Janna ult, they have um, Soraka, like they have all of the ingredients they need to win a team fight. But they just, they've been fighting these really like strung out long battles, which has allowed the single target um, casters to really uh, um, emphasize dominance. Yeah. And it, what they it need is, is to fight is five. Yeah, it is a little frustrating to see. Um, AP Jana's shield is one of the best things in the game against Fizz. Uh, because it, it really just it just saves so much effective health. And wow, he's going down on Jonah. Where is the shield? Wow. But they are able okay, to pick up Fizz and... Great kill on the Dark Lady. Uh, meanwhile, no. Teemo and Ezreal pushing mid. 
Uh, uh -huh. Looks like they're going to get maybe a turn out of this. Well, um, Udyr's well, got something to say about that. On a Udyr. But like, look, all he did was he blinded them and then um, both um, Timo and Ez started auto attacking him and he took a lot of damage. And that's just the power. Uh, like, Timo is a very good counter for Udyr. Just ac across the game. He, his kit is just, like, ideal for it, so. It, it certainly it makes the game hard when they've got stuff that counters you. Yep. I think Warwick is a decent counter to Fizz, but they really, I think, lack, lack the burst damage. Um, I'd like to see maybe uh, Shree picking up either a DFG or a Lich Bane to help get that burst damage onto the Fizz if the Warwick puts his ult down. Because really, uh, wow, double black cleaver from Ezreal and Twitch. That's a little strange. Wow. They don't stack, well, guys. <laughs> uh, um, no, wait. Alright, your base cost. Well, it does stack. It stacks between the two of them. But yeah, you know? but, uh, but they, it, only stacks, to... it only stacks up to three times. <laughs> uh -huh. They will get up to three stacks faster than any other team in history. <laughs> Unless you have three black flavors. I but. guess. Well, that was something I was going to mention earlier, was the fact that um, we saw how fast that Baron went down, and Baron yeah. is back up, by the way. Yeah. And that's just due to the fact that they're running a team that has the possibility for three Riggles. Yeah. These three Riggles teams, um, I think, are, are really, really strong because their ability to control map objectives mm -hmm. is completely unparalleled. Mm -hmm. Any member of your team can go and solo whatever they want at, um, as yeah. soon as they have that item. And it looks you like know? Purple Team actually has their three Riggles holders around Baron. They could just go for it right now. Blue they Team will. is not in the position to stop it. The Ezreal has his 40% attack speed buff that he can drop onto both Teemo and Twitch. And that is going to be a free uncontested Baron. It's going down he's, so he's fast. He's just throwing it at Baron. He's throwing it. It doesn't hit creeps. Uh, uh. Although if it did hit creeps, I gotta say, APS would be the best champion so, in the game. Um, you're like, I'm gonna farm the entire creep blade now. Yeah. Although yeah. I, I do like the sort of intricacy of APS that he has this new that you can use to consistently cope without pushing your like, Wow, Soraka just gets caught by this. I don't know why I saw that. I don't know even why Soraka was there. He's uh, oh, Fizz throwing down an ult, um, not hitting anything on this occasion, but um, Udyr's going in. I think they're gonna they're gonna give this a run. Um, ult's going down. Ed's looking how quickly that Ed's so that um, Warwick melts, but Ed's gonna go down too. But bam, there it goes. And just the power, like this team comp is really crazy. Yeah. It, it's got that, um, they've got what looks, appears at first glance to be a really squishy comp until you realize that as long as um, they all focus on the same thing, it can go down quick and um, realistically, Leona provides so much CC to the team, they don't need really much else. Yeah. So even with only the late, the, the soft CCs from Teemo, Twitch, and everything but Fizz's ult, you know, there's not a lot the other team could have Victory. done yep. because Leona just constantly got up in their face and landed yep. really good ults. Yep, very good ults coming out from Meg. They, I think really what um, what what really happened this game was that delayed ace from blue team after purple team picked up the first Baron and yeah. really just the, the snowball effect that that created. I mean, Baron in and of itself is a pretty snowball objective and that was what you know, the, it was just neck and neck on that um, on that uh, that gold difference between the t two teams. Both of them sitting, I think, at around four forty one k gold at around. I don't know what that was around the maybe the thirty minute mark. I want to say, and yeah. um, and then all of a sudden, purple team with their triple wriggles and their Ezreal attack speed steroid just sneaks in that Baron while blue team went to went to go do dragon. And then just one after the other, you have Fizz, you have Twitch, you have Teemo, you have Ezreal, you have these damage dealers. They don't have CC, but they have damage. And just one after the other, uh, uh, blue team went down. I think that yeah, up until that point, it was looking very even. Um, mm -hmm. Blue team definitely had the CC to lock down some of the, you know, like the Fizz pick. And once they just started snowballing like that, pick up a Baron, pick up an Ace, pick up an Inhib. Uh, you know, push the turrets, use your advantage, and then pick up that second Baron. By that point, the game had just 
kind of spiraled out of control. control. Um, and just took so much damage we saw coming off of Nostalgia Darkly's Fist. Once he had that Revenant on such main, he was literally able to hit his W, hit his Q, and two shots to rocket. He didn't even land his E or his ulti. It was just, boom, dead. And once and I, Fizz gets to that stage, there's just really not a whole lot you can do. What I really like about this Fizz is um, the fact that he was able to farm so much. Um, the difference in farm bet um, between them when they were in lane was always at least 20 in Fizz's favor. Mm -hmm. And I, I really saw that becoming a, a big difference just in... Um, Fizz is a super mobile champ, and when you combine that mobility with early damage, it becomes almost impossible to stop him from just at least killing one person every team fight. Mm -hmm. um, but then he's able to troll out. He's able to um, you know keep himself safe until yeah. his cooldowns come up again, yep. and he's even able to initiate fights for your team. Yep. You know, when the only like the hardest part on playing Fizz is just making sure you get the farm that you can be a big player, and he farms yep. exquisitely, and the, it showed. Yeah, and I think uh, in terms of sort of soft engages, you know, that, that Teemo with the Frozen Mallet, the Twitch with the Frozen Mallet was good, but in mm -hmm. terms of like a hard engage that Purple Team had, they had the Leona ult and they had the Fizzle, which are two things yeah. where if they land, you know it's go time. Purple mm -hmm. Team, on the other hand, Warwick ult is very easily countered by just, uh, well, not so much by this team, which really lacked hard CC, but... Um, yeah. But it's not the most reliable initiate in the game. And other than that, you know, other than an Udi or popping Shirelias and running in, uh, mm -hmm. Blue Team just really couldn't get a uh, clean engage onto the Fizz. And even when they did, they really lacked the first to, uh, to go for it. So, well, I mean, it, it was just impressive the way that um, Purple was really able to negotiate the fact that they were mostly a single target team. Their, AO, their AoE is very local, and for the most part, there are a bunch of people who can attack one target, except for maybe Twitch ult, and that, that was going to be hit or miss, depending on how many people stood in the line. Yeah. Um, the, but the fact that they were able to cons um, consistently isolate out individual targets at the beginning of fights, and mm -hmm. quickly turn fights from 5v5s to 4v5s, mm -hmm. was what really allowed them to you know, win the majority of the fights. Yep. And that, um, that's really impressive, because a lot of the time, like I think in the first game we cast, it was this big like, team fight, you know, um, large AoE composition that was able to really capitalize on the exact opposite, their, their ability to um, make the fight um, and ma manipulate it however they wanted to, whereas these guys, it's more like, all right, some, somebody is available. We have mm -hmm. one target that at least three of us can hit. Let's go. Yeah. We, we need to take this down so we can continue on. Yeah. And it, it was it was definitely an interesting style to watch. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, definitely this was one of the better Reddit games, in-house games we've casted. It was neck and neck until the 30-minute mark when one team was just able to kind of, you know, hit that kind of switch and really start, start, the, uh, start the snowball in their favor. So... Mm -hmm. Anything else to say? I think I'm gonna. Nah, end I think this, we said it all, man. End this recording with a GG, a WP. All right.